How's it going everyone? It's Sam. We have to take a look at Microsoft today because they have made a massive move Monday and there is some kind of exciting news. It's a little bit speculative right now, but it's something that I think could uh, be very profitable for Microsoft and for the US just in general. So we're going to go into it. But before we do, if you don't mind hitting the like button on this, it really helps out the channel. And then also too, if you haven't used the links down below to Weeble and to M1 Finance, it really helps me out just as a creator. And then you can also get some free stocks through Weeble. You can also just be able to start investing with M1 Finance, which is my favorite brokerage. And if you wanna join our Patreon, you can use that below too. There's a link down there where you can get access to our Discord. You can start talking about investments with us on a regular basis. It's a really good group of people that we have in there and it's growing every week. So if you wanna check those out, definitely check them out. But let's get right into Microsoft today. They are up about 6%, which is a massive move because they were up last week pretty massively too because of earnings coming out. They've been up a significant amount just over the last week, over the last month, over the last six months. They're just a massive company that keeps on growing. It's nearly doubled in the last year, even with Rony Rona going on. And over the last five years, they've just quadrupled. It's an amazing company that just continues to grow. They do pay about a 1% dividend. And they had some big news today. So over the last couple days, they came out and Trump has kind of given a stamp of approval for them buying TikTok. So if you haven't paid attention, over the last couple weeks, Trump has been really stringent and really uh, cautious about being able to allow TikTok into the US and really allow them to continue doing what they're doing. He's claiming that it's just a security risk that so many people are on TikTok, their personal information is on TikTok and he doesn't trust the Chinese government to be able to regulate what's happening. He thinks that they're up to no good, but he said that they were going to give him 45 days to come to some kind of agreement or they were going to have to shut them out of the U.S. Now, recently, he gave a stamp of approval to Microsoft to pursue an acquisition of TikTok. So he is going to allow that to happen in the next 45 days. And he had said previously, like I said, that he was going to ban it completely. So he has the date of September 15. He said that other companies like Microsoft will be able to try to vie for Microsoft. He's going to allow other companies to. He said it can't be controlled for security reasons by China. And that he wants another very secure company like Microsoft to, or very American company also, to go ahead and buy it. So he is willing to have that happen. He said that such a purchase would funnel a large amount of money to China and argued that the U.S. should receive money in return for letting the deal happen without explaining how that would work. So that's interesting. He said a very substantial portion of that price is going to have to come into the Treasury of the United States because we're making it possible for this deal to happen. Now, what does this mean? What would this look like? Uh, we don't know how quickly it would happen, but just looking at the company itself, TikTok has 800 million monthly active users. Now, this is a massive amount. This is massive. And this has happened very quickly, too. So this this app hasn't been around for a very long time where it's been getting a lot of attention. This is really, really recent. Now, if we look at another company that's similar size, we can look at Instagram. They're at about a billion monthly users. Now, this is back in 2018, but this is still a pretty significant amount of monthly active users and it's a pretty good uh, it's a pretty good comparison so they're relatively the same size I mean maybe they're up to 1.5 billion now or something like that and TikTok is just at 800 million but I mean they're within uh, like one to two times multiple of TikTok size right now and TikTok has happened very quickly it's gained a lot of success very quickly and if we think about Instagram, they're owned by Facebook, right? So Facebook acquired them about eight years ago, and they acquired them for $1 billion. Now it's said that they're worth over $100 billion right now to Facebook. That is massive. So even if TikTok is worth half that at $50 billion, 
that is huge, right? So that's not a small acquisition. That's not a one to two billion dollar acquisition. This is going to be huge if it happens. So right now, Microsoft has revenue that is pushing about $143 billion. They have gross profit of about $96 billion. If we go down to their net income, they're at about $44 billion. If they can add this to their portfolio and just to their portfolio of companies and their revenue stream, that's going to be huge because TikTok has grown so quickly. That's going to provide massive growth, a massive growth component to this company. Now, just looking at their balance sheet, can they actually pull this off? Well, they can. They have $136 billion as of June. They've put themselves in, in a very good position. Now, they aren't the only company that has done this. Google has a great position. Apple has a great cash position. Facebook itself has a great cash position. So any of these companies could probably buy TikTok outright. Now, what this means, why Trump wants this, I think... First of all, he can say that he's bringing back a bunch of jobs to America. He can say that he's being able to bring technology and social media out of China's hands. He can also claim that they're going to take a large percentage of this deal. Also, when you think about it, if there is, let's say, $50, $50 billion on one of these major companies' balance sheets, it doesn't really do anything for the U.S. government for them to hold on to this cash. They really want them to be getting higher revenue, higher net income. They want them to be growing not just as a stock, not just the appreciation, but also they can tax them a lot more. There's a lot of tax revenue that comes from you know, several billion dollars worth of revenue, right? So I think that that's always a good thing for the U.S. government to try to push companies to uh, to buy and not just to hold on to cash. Of course, they want to make sure that they have a nice cash cushion, but companies like Microsoft, they have a, a very large position that they probably don't need uh, that much cash on hand. That is a possibility that would be awesome for Microsoft. I think that if they do this, that's going to be another potential revenue stream that could be very profitable for the company. If other companies start looking at it, it's going to be very interesting. Like This is the only company that they've really led on is in the race, but I think a lot of companies are probably looking at this, seeing if they can throw their hat in the ring. But let me know your thoughts below. I'd be very interested in hearing, do you think this is going to happen? Do you think Microsoft really wants this? It did come out that they are in talks about acquiring TikTok. So it's not just Trump saying that he would allow it to happen. They actually seem like they want to buy it, which is really important too. But let me know your thoughts. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you do want those links below, you can get some free stocks with Webull. You can also start your investing journey with M1. You know, there's a lot of stuff down there. So feel free to check it out. But I'd be really interested in hearing what you guys think. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.